in the Federalist Papers, James Madison wrote that the interest of the man must be connected with the constitutional rights of the place. The inextricable link between our constitutional liberties and the places that these liberties represent can be traced throughout the history of this country. The United States Capitol, the White House, the World War II Memorial, all powerful symbols of what can be achieved by a country unified under a banner of liberty and justice for all. Just as those places represents what it means to be free, so too does this wonderfully refurbished federal building representing the constitutional rights on which our nation was founded. Today, as we gather to dedicate this historic federal building, our founding fathers are no doubt looking down upon us with great approval as we name this enduring representation our inalienable rights after Judge Winston E. Arno, a man who truly embodied the fair and reasoned arbiter of the Constitution as it was envisioned by those who wrote it. Judge Arno was a true patriot. As a second lieutenant in the United States Army, he was called to duty the day after his 31st birthday and was transferred from infantry to the Army's JAG Corps. In 1942, he was discharged as a major. He was a seventh generation Floridian, the image of a true Southern gentleman outside of the courtroom. He was an avid sportsman who could frequently be seen in his classic mint condition green Jeep on his way to a dove hunt. Inside the courtroom, however, Judge Arno's manner reflected his reverence for our Constitution and his adherence to the legal precedent and decisions of the Supreme Court was unwavering, even in cases where he may have personally disagreed. As soon as he stepped into the courtroom, Judge Arno removed any personal opinions or friendships and allowed the fairness of the law to govern the proceedings. His philosophy was be on time and be damn ready when you get there. He was polite, he was fair, and he exercised a no-nonsense attitude in his jurisprudence. He had a long and storied legal career. He remained on the bench until 1994. He followed the U.S. Supreme Court mandates to ensure the election of African Americans, public school, desegregation, and a new Escambia County Jail to improve living conditions for inmates. His decisions had a profound effect and impact on North Florida, leading to the desegregation in schools, the election of the first African American County Commissioner since Reconstruction, and the construction of the Escambia County Jail and the renovation of the jail in Santa Rosa County. These courageous decisions, which led to numerous threats on his life, have in fact stood the test of time. So dedicating the Winston E. Arno Federal Building is a fitting tribute to the service and life of Judge Arno, a man of the utmost integrity who so honorably served his nation and this community. His dedication to upholding the laws of our nation have had a profound and permanent impact on our community. And this building is an apt recognition of his judicial legacy.